So a video went viral, uh, of, I think a couple of days ago, about a woman um, allegedly trying to discipline somebody else's child, maybe like a teenager. And obviously, there was a back and forth. The woman raised her hand, and the girl obviously responded by hitting the woman again. Mm. Of course, this video went viral. And it raises the question, how do you discipline somebody else's child? Um, what rights do we as parents have to correct another person's child? Uh, not just within Nigeria, especially outside Nigeria, when the cultures and um, way of life is different from ours. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that woman's way of shouting at her, yelling at her in public, where everybody was looking at her, and then going ahead to raise her hand, was that the appropriate behavior? Let me start with you, Mary. I don't think it was the appropriate behavior the way it ended. But I feel now, using the assumption that she may have been correcting her, I don't want to use discipline, because usually when we use discipline, we think that someone came, at least Nigerian context, <laughs> someone came with a cane to whip you. But this seemed like a woman had corrected a young lady in front of her and said something about that's not the way to act in public. And I don't see anything wrong with an older person telling a younger person, whether the person is known to me or a stranger, that's not how to, young lady, that's not how to act in public. But I think it was the girl's response to her that degenerated you know, into what almost became a phys physical fight. So for me, what I saw there was just so totally wrong on the young girl's side. Mm. Now there's also the part of Nigerian adults where we have this, uh, where, we're, where we think we're entitled to respect from everybody and anyone. So this is a new world that we need to navigate. My first thought is, uh, have we lost what it means to have good manners? You know, good manners from the side of you as an adult and good manners from the child in mutual respect for from adult to child. I felt that the child, the, the girl was very rude and did not use good manners. And because we know it was a foreign land, it was obviously a foreign land, but the, the woman felt like you are a black person, you know, like you probably an African. I think that the, when, whenever we take our children to the Western world, we should not... We, we should understand that even the white people across all race, there's something called good manners. Good manners is respect for adults, opening the doors for someone. You don't, shut, you don't slam the door back on the person behind you. You greet people, you know, you're polite. These are good manners regardless of culture. Now, the woman shouting is a typical Nigerian woman who feels like their own way of correcting you is to dominate you. and like It's a, it's a dominant... Voice. Yes, it's, they want to dominate you. We're already trying to address that, and I think that we should use this platform to also address that when you want to correct someone, it's not by you shouting the person down. If, you, if the person cowers down to you, does not mean you have achieved any positive change. So she had the duty to be an example to that girl, no matter what that girl was doing there. And the language of correction wouldn't have been for her to raise her voice. She had thought to play to the gallery, raise her voice, gather you know, pity party, Sent and say to portray the girl ah, as the home video that's way. The, that's why I said yes. To portray the girl as someone mannerless, let me call a crowd, that yeah. kind of thing. So, you know, Nolly. and uh, that's, at least that got the reciprocation that you saw. So this is a girl who does not have the shaming that we had growing up. There's this yeah. shaming, even when you're being bullied right. by an adult in the name of correction, <clears throat> we lacked the courage to want to speak up. Yeah. This girl spoke up. That's how I saw the video. Let's still go back to this. This crowd calling is so freaking Nigerian. I'm sorry to use that language. You know, when something happens and both of you just want to have a conversation to say, come and see your, see this town. Come, come and see. And then everybody now starts gathering and they now stop. The bike man stops, the bus man stops, the bus stops, and they're coming down. And everybody's like, come and see your dad. I'm thinking, what the heck? It's a shaming This method. happened. Yeah. I'm just the trying to have a conversation with you. Yeah. No! And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? So this is the same issue. So the child offended you. And you think by calling the crowd, by making, raising your voice, would attract uh, sympathizers, sympathizers <laughs> to the matter. I think, ah, well, no, no. And unfortunately, this is not Nigeria. We're she wrong. called you a fool. Yeah, but it's wrong for a child to call you a fool. Absolutely. Why would you raise your hand on someone else's child? It's a trigger. Ah, you cannot be a Nigerian parent. You're an adult. Based and on a age. Small girl. Hey, hey. Calls you an adult. It triggers. But in Nigeria, you can actually, in fact, in Nigeria, if a child calls you a fool, you can get the whole neighborhood <laughs> to pounce on that child. So that well, Miriam, I want us to focus on, mm. do you have a right to raise your hand on someone else's child? No, no, child? of course not. Hey, yeah, a growing, of I, I would say that you, I, I would have, my first line is say, raise hands, because let's find a way to, if a child is going wayward, 
you better do everything you can to bring. Mm -hmm. And I want, if, if you see my child doing something wrong, you better shout. If my child comes to your house and the child is, do, is taking something, yes, they shouldn't correct take, my you child correct the don't child. Yes. Correct say, my child, but don't my raise child. Hand. I'm telling you guys now, <laughs> if my children should visit you, if they do anything wrong, correct them, but do not raise your hands at my child. I will mm. not take it. <laughs> but you can correct with words, you can correct with action. The, here's the question. Do you need to know someone to respect the person? No. Mm -hmm. So, the, the, you know, that she kept saying again, I don't know you, I don't need to respect you. Then my mother, you mm. know, my parents, I don't need to respect you. Even, even the white of white human beings, even the one that is blue, blue, blue eye, green eye, onyibo, would not talk like that. You know, and we need to raise our children to, you can speak up for yourself, you, they must learn the to level of emotional intelligence to walk away from a place that mm -hmm. is giving you crisis. Mm -hmm. Anything that is rubbing you wrong, walk away. That lady aggravate the somebody is attacking you. Mm -hmm. You descend to their level the moment you attack the person back. Mm -hmm. What she did was a, an older woman ignorantly was attacking you. You now decided to attack back. You become like you become like hey, that person. Her, but what, what and her language was very, very so bad. So if we say the adult, wait, 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 if an, if, if, wait, 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 if you are if you find yourself in relationship with if you see a mad person and the mad person comes to you, mm. do you now attack Isn't the mad it, person? Let's, wait, wait. Let's like, this is a child and an adult. You are putting the owners of the child. No, no, I'm saying if you face if an adult is behaving like a mad person, you become mad when you you fight the adult back. This is an now. Talk about this is the age where you show the successes. Is the majority of the adults to be able to predict that exactly? I agree. This she was wrong. Yes. So at the point where you're trying to correct a child, mm -hmm. an adolescent particularly yeah. in secondary school, and the child is not accommodating your approach, you keep quiet and walk, walk away. away. Oh, she should have walked away from that child. We if agree. She could have. But so, don't put the onus of responsibility of example no, on the, the child. child. Yes, I agree with you.